beautiful sound is bird song. Um, I just love hearing going out for a walk at about seven o'clock and hearing the birds all um, chatting to each other with their song. And actually one of my favourite birds is um, wood pigeon, um, which is not everybody's favourite. Some people find it annoying, but I, I just find it very kind of woody, kind of mellow, quite comforting sound. Um, and I think there's something dove-like about wood pigeons as well. There's something very special about them. And the way they're often in a couple is really sweet. We've actually got a name for two wood pigeons that come in our garden. Um, they're called Dolly and Bill after my grandparents. It's made of wood, obviously, um, mainly spruce on the front and maple on the back. And it's, we use a bow, which is horsehair and also wood. And the horsehair draws the sound from the strings. So it makes the strings vibrate. And then the vibration sort of um, is, the acoustic is the wooden box. And then the sound comes out of the F holes. Um, and it's a little bit like with the human voice, but instead of the breath um, vibrating the vocal cords, it's the bow that vibrates the strings. And we also use rosin on our bows to make the, the horsehair more sticky and so it draws the sound out. And, and rosin is actually the sap from pine trees. So we're very connected with nature. It's difficult to say because there is so much nature inspired music. Um, but I'd say between two things, I love Ravel's Mother Goose Suite and the fifth movement is actually called The Fairy Garden. It's just the most magical music. It sort of builds to this blissful kind of opening and just triumphant close. I think it's where the Sleeping Beauty is woken by her prince and it's just this heavenly, happy music. And my other piece I love is Schubert's Trout Quintet and it's one of the movements is based on a song he wrote called The Trout and there's a lovely motif in the piano that's like the rippling of water and it's just such beautiful music. I love chamber music because it's just so much communication and you're constantly reacting to each other and, and you know conversing together through music. The first movement of Hindemith's solo violin sonata and he apparently wrote this piece on a tray. In 1924, he was traveling between Hanover and Frankfurt. It's got this wonderful feeling of movement about it. And it reminds me a little bit of the swifts that fly around my garden late at night. Well, late in the evening. They're so high up and they've just got this amazing freedom as they swoop down. And um, the music is very free and it's, it's free harmonically. There's a lot, it goes through lots of different keys. It's um, free also rhythmically. I think that creates this lovely, you know, feeling of free movement like a bird flying. <laughs> 